Hi, my name is Robin, uh, and I'm going to show you how Reach Accountant could actually make uh, accounting much simpler over your traditional accounting softwares. Now, this is a page which you see as soon as you sign up, and uh, if you look at it, it basically gives you a quick snapshot of your business, and uh, it also gives you access to the whole menu. Now, there are two steps involved in finishing off accounting using Reach Accountant. Step one is to get the bank transactions inside the application and step two is to match those transactions to the relevant account heads. The easiest way to bring your bank transactions inside the application is to connect to a bank account. And uh, here is how you do it. You have a connect to a bank account button on the dashboard and once you click on it, uh, it you will be allowed to search for your bank now if you have an access bank account uh, so you could probably search your bank and choose it click continue and now it prompts you to provide the net banking access particulars the same as what you use to log into your internet banking interface of your bank now I'm gonna give mine and uh, now the moment I click continue the application will talk to your bank and automatically sync and download all the transactions uh, from the bank account into the application and very soon you will be able to see uh, your bank transactions in the bank transaction tab of, of on your menu So here is how it looks like and uh, now once this is done all you will have to do now is just choose the transaction and uh, match it to the relevant account heads listed here. In case you want to add more account heads you can do it from here. Now let's say I've chosen the first thing and I think this is uh, un a traveling expense. So I just click on it and it automatically translates into an accounting entry and it moves away from here and let's say I click the next one which is Arumalai which I think is salaries so I match it to the relevant account head and it moves away from here now once I do this uh, and I could probably get this done by spending less than an hour in a month uh, I will be able to see all the reports which my CA would probably want to see uh, like the profit and loss account, the balance sheet, the day books, the ledgers, uh, the tax reports, the payroll reports and also the stock reports. Now what I'm going to do is now give access to my CA by going to the settings tab and uh, just asking him, providing him access by adding him as a user here. Uh, let's say and saving. So on doing this, CA will be able to come and view your accounts and advice and you will be able to stay on top of your accounts. Now in case you do not want to sync your bank and uh, you're not comfortable providing your username password, you could always upload your bank statement uh, in an Excel format uh, by clicking on the upload bank statement button which is in the bank transactions page like this choose the excel file and uh, let's say you choose the excel file and uh, you choose the bank account which is relating to that and just simply upload and that could also bring your transactions inside the application now if you choose to do accounting the traditional way uh, like what you do with traditional accounting softwares you could always go and use the income and expenses tab uh, where you could create invoices or enter income one by one and you will be able to manage your invoices uh, through this panel here as you can see you see a few invoices a few of which is paid and few of which is still a draft and similarly you would also be able to manage your expenses uh, and uh, your pay slips also. So I sum it up with this.